Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Apps Low-Code, No-Code Development Training with anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning end-to-end -end concept of working with SAP Build Apps with Low-Code, No-Code Development Tool on SAP BTP. In our today's session, we are going to learn about the pagination concept which was in ask by many, many of you. How to achieve pagination in a SAP build app. So let's try and understand what is pagination and how do we achieve it. So pagination is actually what we every day see in our daily life. So whenever you watch Anubo Trainings YouTube videos, usually some of our YouTube videos are for the length of or almost two hours. But YouTube doesn't allow you to wait for two hours until it loads the whole video. Rather, YouTube will just load a two minute component of the video very fast and it starts the playback for you. By the time you finish watching the first two minutes, the YouTube is going to load the next two minutes. And by the time you're watching the next two minutes, it will prepare the next two minutes further. So, YouTube in this case is loading data chunk by chunk. Now, we call this concept in YouTube called buffering. So, it is buffering the data as and when you are watching the video. So, it doesn't have to let user wait for loading entire two hours. Absolutely. Now, let's see in practical example where you are connecting your build apps to an S4 HANA application. And there is a material or sales order data present in your S4 HANA system around, let's say, 2 million records. Now, in order to BTP to load these 2 million records, on its platform and give it to your build mobile app, it will be taking a huge time. It will end up also consuming huge resources as well. So to avoid this situation, we do pagination. We cannot load all 2 million records in one shot from sales order. So what we do? We do pagination where we are going to consume a chunk of data. Let's say only six records at the beginning. Now we give user a button to swipe down and swipe up. When user swipe down, we are going to load the next six records, which we call it as next page. So let's say this is page one. Then we're going to load page two. Then again, user swipe down. Then we will load the next six records again. So we will fix this count here, this page size to six and the page number we keep incrementing. Automatically, the data will be fetched chunk by chunk. Hence, we were eventually able to load large volume of data through the buffering concept. So to be able to achieve it on this button or icon, we have to write a logic where we set a page variable. Yeah. So this is one thing we are going to do. Then we're going to call our uh, backend system to load the next page data and then we set this data to our data variable so let me now go to the system and practically show you this how exactly it works so what i've got is i've already got an application where i am loading the s4 hana data for products look at this so at the moment we have got only six products but what if i want to swipe down and load the next six products and next and next subsequently so we are going to go back and add pagination in this case. Let me switch over back to SAP build apps. I will first add a container with two icons inside. Done. Let's make the container layout as horizontal and dock my icons on the left and right side where I can page up and page down. So I can come back to the first icon, change the icon, to page down arrow yeah and then we can also come back to the other one where we're going to change the icon to page up arrow fantastic so if i scroll down it should load the next if i scroll up it should load the previous so for handling that we create a variable now let's call it as current page and then we set this as number current page value is let's say one 
or it always starts with zero actually i save this now what i will do is i will come back here and when user click page down i will be writing my logic so my logic would be to change my page variable which is handling this situation of having a current page size so we come back change the page variable which we created for changing the current page size actually so let me just cross check where have we created this variable i created as an app variable never mind we can use an app variable in this case so i can come back and set my app variable let's do that so we're going to come here and change our current page variable increment by one so let's add a formula app variable current page plus one and then we are going to go back and set the page variable once my page variable is set we are going to go back and call the data we're going to load the data so we call get record collection and we will be reading our products data and here is the filter condition and ordering and of course pagination there you go so we go to paging pass the data to paging and we will current page size mark it as six hard coded that's okay but page number is i will bind with my app variable which which i'm changing every time i can click on save button i can also say please include the total record count whenever you are fetching the data save it and then we will set our data variable of course because that is what is bound to the screen so let's set our data variable <clears throat> there you go beautiful so now what i will do is i'm setting my data variable with the data coming from the previous step absolutely we will repeat this logic for the page up but the only difference it will be is it will be minus one so let's do that set our app variable set our data variable and also get all the records so we're going to get all the records also that is what we're going to do let's connect the dots with the flow functions and of course getting the data from previous node which is products data setting the data over there and come here to go to the paging pass the page size again six and my app variable current page i'm going to bind with the value inclusion as true and of course set my current page to a formula this time minus one instead of plus one reduce the page size done let's save and now it's time to test our application so i've got my application as you can already see in my mobile device and we have got down and up so currently you see the product is ht1000 and 1007 when i sw swipe down to the next page it should then further load my next data actually for the next set of products so when i click you can see now it's loading the next page look at that i scroll down further you see wow beautiful look at the pagination loading data chunk by chunk at runtime same way we can go up there you go nice fabulous so this is how we can work with pagination in sap build apps however if you are a theory developer like me then this is something which naturally happens in theory with an audit service it's quite unfortunate that we have to write custom code in 20th century still for pagination with build apps however that's the reality as of now maybe in the future SAP provide a direct support for pagination out of the box with the controls in build apps. We hope so. With that, thank you so much. With that, Anubhav signing out. Hope you enjoyed the session. I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, happy coding, happy building and goodbye.